And now it's time for an extra feature in the series on how to build a vacuum tube Tesla coil. Some might say that vacuum tube Tesla coils are a waste of time, outdated. Solid state Tesla coils are easier to make and everything should work on its own. Well, yes, when building vacuum tube Tesla coils, it can be difficult to tune it and find the capacitors needed to achieve resonance. But what if I was to tell you there is an easy vacuum tube Tesla coil you can build that requires no tweaking or tuning, can run directly off unrectified AC from a microwave oven transformer and needs absolutely no capacitors at all? You might think I'm crazy, but it's true. Plus, this circuit requires four, count them, only four components in order to work. That is if you don't include the power transformers as well. And those parts are the tube itself and three coils. And that's it. A far cry from the many, many parts you need for a solid state coil. And I'm going to stop talking like that. So anyway, this is that vacuum tube tester coil, which is a base fed design. Now, I cannot really take credit for this design because I did not design this myself. This was designed by Electron HV on YouTube. I've just pretty much just... Um, made my own sort of clone of the circuit. What we've got here is the power comes directly out from the transformer here, goes into this coil and then out from the coil into the anode of the tube and also into the bottom of this coil here which is the output resonator and of course the cathode of the tube goes right back to the ground. And this coil here that looks like a primary, that's actually a feedback coil so this tube will act like a switch and it will turn on and off or open and close at the same resonant frequency as the output coil which in this case is about 1.1 megahertz so the way I think the circuit works is when the tube is acting like a closed switch this coil here which I've called the energy reservoir coil I don't know what its actual name is but that's what I'm going to call it because that's pretty much what it does but this coil stores up energy in the form of a magnetic field and when the tube opens, becomes like an open switch, this coil then dumps all its energy into this coil and as it's doing it at the resonant frequency, the voltage is going to build up and up and up and up until it breaks out at the top there. That's how I think it works. I could be wrong, but whatever. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's see how this thing goes. Okay, we're all warmed up and ready to go. Now I'm going to run this ballasted to make sure that everything's working alright. And it's a good thing that I am running this ballasted because I just gave this a test run prior to making this video and it wasn't working because I had my feedback coil the wrong way around. So anyway, here is almost first light running ballasted. Okay, not bad. Considering this thing is running ballasted, I just had a look at the voltage going into the transformer and I'm only getting about 190 volts, so I don't know what this is going to do with the 240 volts going in. Right, okay, I've swapped the coils around because I'm curious to see what it's going to do like this. So I'm using my output coil as my energy reservoir coil and my energy reservoir coil as my output coil, so let's see how well this works. Okay, I don't know about you, but that seems about the same. Although I cannot really say for certain because we've got a bit spewing out the side as well. It's not really supposed to happen, but well, I'm going to put the coils back the way they were and uh, try this unballasted. Okay, it's time for the grand final or the grand finale or whatever you want to call it. Time to run this thing unballasted. So here we go. That's just beautiful. I hope the camera got that because, you know, the interference and stuff. So 
So there you go, there's a Tesla coil that you can easily build that doesn't require any kind of tweaking at all and you saw it right here that it works and I'm going to link in two other videos that I found on YouTube showing their versions of this coil and if you want to try it for yourself well now you know what to do. So here it is, this is the schematic. Like I said before I cannot take credit for it so because I did not design this, it was designed by Electron HV on YouTube, but I did draw up this schematic. As you can see, it's really simple. It doesn't even need a grid leak. As you can see, that's just connected directly to the tube there, and running directly off the AC from the transformer. So, um, there you go. Anyway, that's just about it for this video, and I'll see you in the next tube time, whenever that's going to be, so... Until next time, goodbye. Oh wait, I'm still recording, aren't I?